Okay. It says I'm live. Am I live? I'm alive. Is anybody here? Did I do it right? There. Some people are joining. Hi, everypony. It's Tara Strong, and I'm here promoting season eight of My Little Pony. We're going to have a two-part episode for the premiere. It's a continuation of where the movie left off, and Twilight discovers that there's more than Equestria and Ponyville, and she's got to get out there, and she's going to open her very own friendship school. We're going to have all kinds of great new characters. There's going to be a hippogriff, sea pony, uh, a griffin, a yak, another pony, and all the main six that we've grown to know and love. I love you too. If you have any questions, now's the time I'm trying to watch as I check myself out too. So um, <laughs> feel free to ask me any questions. And I'm super excited for this new season. This year marks the 35th anniversary of My Little Pony. And you can watch the premiere on the 24th at 1130 at Discovery Family. And you can also catch all kinds of episodes at Discovery Family Go. All this week they're doing Pony Palooza, playing all your favorite episodes. Um, the ones with Al Yankovic and Pat Oswalt. So it's going to be a crazy good pony time. And thank you. Hi, hi everybody. Does anybody have any questions for me? I'm happy to answer. Super excited for the premiere. It's the eighth season. I can't even believe it. And I'm so grateful to all the pan to all the fans that have carried us this far. You guys are incredible. I've been doing interviews the last few days talking about how much I love the fans, that you guys really make this show what it is, that it's this worldwide army of kindness. And I'm so grateful to all of you. Hi, I am not going to BronyCon this year. Will I marry you? You have to ask my husband. Quick question. The Reindeer in Santa Claus 2. No, I didn't do that. Um, anywho, where was I? I was talking about how much I love the fans, and you guys are really cute, and the interviewers were like, so talk to me about the bronies. And I just said how much I love the bronies and how there's these like hot army dudes that come to cons with like Twilight Sparkle tattoos and painting Pinkie Pie on their tanks to get them through hard times. Um, and it's just an amazing, amazing show. I'm so happy to be a part of it. I'm so grateful to all the fans and I'm grateful for you guys sticking with me with all of the um, charity work that I do. And thank you for giving and thank you for being there. My favorite episode, I love Lesson Zero. I love the wedding episode. Um, what's your guys' favorite episode? Don't be afraid to chime in. Now's your time to speak to me live. We're live from New York. It's Pony Night Live. <laughs> Dear Princess Lestia, today I did my very first face uh, inter I'll try that again. Dear Princess Lestia, today I did my very first Instagram live. Does Twilight Sparkle like Pokemon? I'm sure she would if she knew what it was. I'm grateful for you, Dad of the Decade. Hi, Ben. Hi, everybody. It's right, Jones. to 114. She doesn't want to be tardy. Anyways, I'm so happy that you guys are here with me um, on the Instagram page for... Uh, Discovery Family, who are an amazing support group for this show. They love to support the show, and they love to support their actors, and I'm really grateful for them for bringing me out so that I can reach out to all the fans even better. How did you start voice acting? So I knew when I was three years old that I wanted to be an actress and a singer and a dancer, and um, I grew up in Toronto, and when I was 13, my parents finally got me an agent, and um, my very first audition for animation was Hello Kitty, and the rest is history. I didn't really know that animation was going to be my main um, source of acting, but I certainly can't complain and I have a beautiful life. And you guys are loving Unikitty! Isn't Unikitty great? It's like the perfect world for me to be in. Yes, season 8 is coming out. Why do you love MLP? Well, why do you guys love MLP? I love MLP because it teaches kids all about how to be there for friends, how to get through conflict resolution with kindness. Um, it teaches kids about inclusion and standing up to bullies and doesn't matter how old you are, what gender you are. Um, it's just all about inclusion and being there for each other. Hi, everybody. Thank you for saying all those things. I love Raven and Twilight. And Raven loves ponies now, too, which is kind of funny. If you all check out Teen Titans Go, that was an homage to all of you guys, the fact that Raven likes um, ponies. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are fans. There should be a Unikitty in My Little Pony crossover. <laughs> I mean, it, that, that could definitely work. I'm going to miss Fairly Odd Parents, too. I wish there were more episodes. And I'm excited for Saturday, too. 
spike. It's going to be an amazing time. And what's everybody's cutie marks going to be? Hmm. We have a lot of uh, fun episodes coming up with um, Discord's coming back. Queen Chrysalis is coming back. Uh, the Crusaders are coming back. Am I missing anything? Can I show your face? No, he's shy. My friend from Discovery Family is awesome, so he's too shy for me to put on my page, but that's okay. Um, is there any other questions that you guys have? Now it's time. Equestria Girls were awesome. I'm not sure when the next ones are coming up, but we have recorded a whole bunch of them. Have I tried to be on The Simpsons? Um, that would be nice because The Simpsons is a great show, but I have never been on The Simpsons. Thank you for holding it. Um, is Somber coming back? Is Somber coming back? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'd have to check out my notes for that. I'm sorry. And also, um, after I do an episode, I kind of forget what I've done. So when I go to cons and you guys are like, remember this episode? Remember that episode? I never remember because I'm just crazy. I sometimes do seven episodes in a row and all the other people are in Vancouver and I'm in LA. So sometimes I'll literally do back to back episodes and it's hard to remember what I've been doing. Thank you. I think you're awesome. What's the favorite show I've ever worked on? Um, well, I love doing Fairly Odd Parents. I love doing Powerpuff Girls. Um, my favorite thing I ever booked was The Little Mermaid 2 because I was a massive Little Mermaid fan. So to get to sing with Jodie Benson in the studio was pretty amazing. So I loved playing Melody. Thank you. You're cute too. Will Queen Chrysalis return? Yes, Queen Chrysalis is part of Season 8. Spoiler alert. Does Why do people keep asking if Twilight likes Pokemon? I don't know! What's it like to be a voice actor? It's so much fun. I mean, I just have fun every day. I get paid to have fun every single day. How did you get the part of the baby on Rugrats? Okay, that's a fun story. So, um, I had just moved from Toronto and I was doing pretty well. I booked Batgirl alongside Mark Hamill and Kevin Conroy and Powerpuff Girls and 100 episodes of 101 Dalmatians. And then I really wanted to be on the Rugrats because I thought that animation was so cool. And they brought me in to guide track the baby, which means I was laying down the tracks for someone else to do that. And they were actually hoping to get a celebrity at that time. They were hoping to get Madonna to play Baby Dill. And uh, I was in the studio and I started crying and burping and puking and pooping. And they stopped the recording session and um, I was like, what's going on? I, did I upset somebody? And they came out and they said, uh, Tara, there's a new mom in the studio and you made her lactate. So... <laughs> The part's yours, so that was kind of a fun way that I got to be, be Baby Dill. I'm trying to catch up with all your questions. This is too much fun. Thank you. I think you're the best. How do I speak squirrel? Oh, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, Madonna. She probably couldn't have done that. E.G. Daly was my brother. E.G. Daly's played my brother and my sister. We've had very similar careers and we're like sisters in real life. You were my childhood growing up. The Twilight School of Friendship is a great idea and it's going to come with all kinds of problems and the thing I like about MLP is it shows you that you don't have to be perfect and Twilight's going to make some mistakes along the way and she's ready to listen and learn from her friends and I think it's important to be able to know that we can all learn for each other, from each other and we all have room to grow and I think anyone that thinks they know everything and they're done growing is not right. So. My Little Pony definitely um, shows you different ways to learn and grow through different experiences. Can you... I don't know what that is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Will there be more songs this season? Yes, there's actually two songs uh, in the two-part opener, and there'll be lots of new songs this season. Spoilers. Um, well, the spoiler is we're going to get, in case you missed it, there's going to be a Hippogriff uh, Sea Pony joining the cast. Um, a griffin, a yak, a dragon, and another brand new pony, along with all the main six that you guys know and love. Were you on the Clerks animated series? Yes, I was on the Clerks animated series. What's your favorite character? Well, on My Little Pony, obviously Twilight. Twilight is the best pony. Hopefully nobody will argue with that. Hi, every pony. Thanks for joining me. Will there be a 20th anniversary reunion for the Rugrats? I don't know. If there is, that would be fun. I'd love to do that. But can you guys believe that My Little Pony has been on the air for 35 years? This year marks the 35th anniversary of My Little Pony. Will there be an episode with just the main six? Yes, there is an episode with just the main six. Crossover episode with Sonic the Hedgehog. 
And I don't think that's in the works. <laughs> in fact, I don't think there's been any crossover episodes, so... But, no, it's not a bad idea. Uh, Rebecca is amazing. I, I wish I could sing on the show, too, but unfortunately, I'm in Los Angeles, and um, all the music is done in Vancouver, but that would be fun to sing on the show sometime. Favorite season to work on MLP? Hmm. Well... Every season's fun for different reasons because Twilight gets to grow as a character. She's not just stagnant as a pony. She gets to grow and learn. So I've enjoyed the transition of starting her as like this meek pony trying to figure her way around to suddenly having her own friendship school. The first season was exciting. We had no idea it was going to be this big of a hit. But I really enjoyed working on the show every single season. Well, there'll be a background pony episode. Probably. There'll probably be background ponies, but I don't know if they get their own episode. I honestly can't remember. <laughs> What's it like voicing Kira and Jack and Dexter? Well, anytime you do a video game, you're by yourself. So it's not quite as fun as doing a group record, but um, it's still very exciting. And you really want to like close your eyes and picture all the moments that you're doing because I find that gaming fans, like they feel like they're in the game with you. So. You don't want to disappoint them by not doing a good job. Rad that you're doing this. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I wish I met Twilight Sparkle. You can meet Twilight Sparkle. You can meet me at a bunch of upcoming, con uh, upcoming cons. Uh, you can check that out on my Twitter, at Tara Strong. Are you singing the show? No, unfortunately, because like I said before, all the music is done in Vancouver, and I'm in Los Angeles. You're beautiful and good. Next season, see you later. Thank you. Arkham is an amazing game. Whenever I do an Arkham game, I get really excited to step back into those Harley Quinn boots. Oh, you wish Sunset Shimmer could appear. Well, I can always suggest that. You're awesome. Dear Princess Celestia, today I met some awesome people. What, they like some of the other characters I do? Well, I wish Cosmo and Wanda were here. Whatever, as or as. Zinthos. Oh, Raven, you're so fun, but also you're hardcore. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, Discovery Family's Instagram channel. Don't forget to catch up on all the episodes this week. It's Pony Palooza. We're showing all the favorite episodes, and you can watch other episodes on Discovery Family Go. And don't forget the premiere is Saturday the 24th at 11.30. Check your local listings. Hi guys! Hi hi! Hi hi! Hardcore! You want me to stay? Shall I stay forever? <laughs> I'm just gonna stay in this hotel lobby on Instagram forever. You guys are awesome! Ooh, they're watching Pony Palooza right now! Oh, great! What's your favorite episodes? I love anything with Discord too, and Discord will be back in Season 8. Will Tempest appear in Season 8? Uh, I can't tell you that. Can you do Raven's voice? Whatever. Go eat some waffles or whatever. <laughs> Where do you record lines for My Little Pony? Um, so I live in Los Angeles. Like I said, the other girls are all in Vancouver, so they get to be together. Um, but I'm in, Van I'm in uh, L.A., and I usually work at a studio um, just by myself called Studioopolis, or sometimes we use Salami Studios. And it's fun because I get to be casual and could go to work in my cute pony pajamas. Happy birthday, Cameron! Hi, everybody! Should I do the rest of this as Twilight? Okay, from now on, I'm gonna answer questions as Twilight. Ready, go! <laughs> I wish I could meet you in real life, too! Yes, there will be more equestrian girls! <laughs> Hi! Hi, everybody! Thanks for coming. What's all of your cutie marks? Today I did some interviews on the radio and this lady was very happy to speak to me and I asked her what her cutie mark was and I think she thought it was crazy. What's my favorite book? Oh, I really loved like Water for Chocolate. I loved um, Mists of Avalon and I really loved reading The Count of Monte Cristo even that took a really long time. Is it hard to be a pony? No, it's great to be a pony. Um, and when I'm doing the voice, I don't think, oh, now I'm going to be a pony. I think, now I'm Twilight. And whenever I create a character, they live up in my brain, and then they come down and play when it's their turn. So they never get confused. They're their own entities. Benton, don't be such a dweeb. 
Go in here. Of course I miss the Powerpuff Girls. Uh, well, the movie... So the question was, was it different working on the movie than on the series? Um, the movie was different um, in some ways. Obviously, I was still by myself, although I did get to meet some of the um, new actors joining the cast. I completely fell in love with Kristen Chenoweth, who is everything you could dream she would be. Um, but there was just a little more people around, a little more consideration. We rewrote the opening monologue several different times just to make sure that it really grasps the audience. Anytime you go from TV series to feature, you have to have a really big story. And I think in this case, leaving Equestria was that story and meeting the sea ponies. Whenever I ask kids what their favorite part, they always say the sea ponies. So, Hi, guys. What's your favorite secondary character? Oh my gosh, I always hate when people ask what my favorite characters are because there's so many great ones. But I really, really love the main six and I definitely have a strong affinity to Derpy. <laughs> is season nine on the works? Season nine is on the works, in the works. <laughs> my boss went to college with Kristen Chenoweth. Nice, she was so sweet and I met her and I was like very starstruck and I said, will you take a picture with me? And she said, sure, sweetie. And she had no makeup and she didn't even care. It was really great. Can you do Twilight? Hi, every pony. This is Twilight. Derpy is best pony. That's true. She's pretty great. Do you play any MLP games? Not really. I'm not really a gamer, so I don't get to play much games. Oh, what's your favorite Ben 10 character? Hmm. Well, I love me some Stinkfly. We have a great um, new cast this season. I love Monse Hernandez and David Kay. They all do such a great job. Can you go to Arizona? That would be fun. I did a con in Arizona a long time ago. That would be really fun. Dear Princess Celestia. <laughs> have you watched the SpongeBob SquarePants movie? Yes. Can you say you can't see me? In Twilight's voice, you can't see me. When is your next appearance? Well, my very next appearance is actually going to be in Dublin. I'm off to Dublin, which I'm really excited about. I've never been there. I'm going to go do Dublin, Dublin Comic Con at the end of this month. Spike! I'm just going to start saying what I see in Twilight's voice. <laughs> you know, I'm the translator. Excellent! That's exciting! Your favorite thing that Twilight said? Well, I really liked it when Twilight was worried that she was going to get everything done and then she was worried she was going to be tardy! Banana! <laughs> it's hard to keep up with all these questions, but anyways, I'm so glad that you guys have come to see me today. I'm so glad that you guys are watching the show and Pony Palooza, and you're going to tune into the premiere. Please let us know what you think about the premiere. I'm pretty excited about it. There's so many wonderful adventures that stem from Twilight opening up her own school. It's like a whole new adventure that's starting with season eight. Can you subscribe to my YouTube channel? How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. Do you miss truffles from chowder? Of course I miss truffles from chowder. <laughs> How long will this be? Hmm. Five more minutes. We have five more minutes. Can I give you a hug? Okay. <laughs> I thought this was to happen at one. Anyways, it is one. It's one o'clock our time. Not sure where you are, but anyways. Hi, fans from Bolivia. That's so exciting. I always tell people in the interview that it's so incredible that this show really has a worldwide fandom and people that are there for each other all over the world. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, everybody. I love you too. <sighs> well, if your parents think the show is just for kids, you should make them sit down and watch it with you or have them call me. Somebody wants to hear Holly Quinn. Hi, you puns. Oh, you live in Lancaster. Okay, sorry about that. You should have specified. <laughs> the time zone. Hi. Hello. How you doing? Can I call you? No. You guys gotta go? No, you guys gotta go. No, you guys gotta go. Can you give us two? No. We're getting they, in trouble. We have meetings over here and stuff going on. No. You guys gotta go. You guys gotta okay, go. Okay, we're gonna go. 
Well, we were doing our live, but Mr. Shakiri says it's time to go. <laughs> Thanks, every pony.